Welcome back to CCTV. Today we have the following in store for you. An interview on REITs evaluation, the Karen Armstrong APEC priority topic, but first we start with the Q&A on Asia Pacific. When we talk about a new substance, we always say to check it in an existing inventory. So I'd like to confirm with you that uh, is the inventory already exist or, or not yet? Currently it's under formation and the European uh, Commission, Eurasian Commission, sorry, uh, <laughs> Eurasian Commission, yeah, um, has to establish uh, the rules how this reunion register will be formed. And after every member state will agree with these rules, uh, our national parts also will be formed. And then everyone can check their substances in this inventory um, and nominate it until the deadline. It will be uh, the responsibility of uh, the relevant authority. Yeah. So it's under formation, yeah. Mm, okay. So the nomination, uh, is there a deadline? Uh, yes, the deadline is uh, the 1st of March 2021, when the national parts uh, should be formed. Time to learn more on Chinese characteristics from Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Where are you today? Hi, Jude. I'm at the Tiananmen Square. As you said before, if you have not been to Tiananmen Square, you have not been to Beijing. That's correct. A lot of Beijing history is connected with Tiananmen Square. I loved walking there in the evenings when kids were playing with their kites. But also that is history. Can you tell us more about the square? It was designed and built in 1651. It was enlarged four times as its original size. The square is named after the gate of the heavenly peace, Tiananmen. That is that gate with the portrait of Mao Zedong, once the main gate to the Forbidden City. Mao Zedong, the founding father of the People's Republic of China, not only present on the heavenly gate, but also nowadays on all banknotes. Did you know banknotes is also a Chinese invention? developed during the Tang Dynasty in 7th century when there was an issue about paper currency. Real paper money appeared in the Song Dynasty in 11th century. Also interesting is the paper showing some interesting story on the other side of the notes. Showing some famous places from Hangzhou's West Lake, Shandong's Mountain Tai, the Yangtze Three Gorges, Guilin's Li River, Tibet's Portala Palace, and Beijing's great hall of the people here on Tiananmen Square. Valuable information. Let's talk about environmental pollution and potential solutions later. First, some highlights of the interview I had with Kevin Pollard from ECHA on the evaluation part of REACH. Kevin, can you tell us who are responsible for the evaluation? At the high level, the evaluation is under the responsibility of ECHA, the Member States and the European Commission. And of course, industry plays a, a key role in responding to the, the decisions. Um, the actual division of responsibility depends a bit on the process. So on the dossier evaluation side, ECHA is in the lead for um, the scientific assessments of the dossiers. And the member states and member state committee play a crucial role in the decision making. Um, and the commission is also involved in the decision making in some cases. On the other hand, for substance evaluation, here we have member states in the lead, um, ECHA in a coordination role, and also the ECHA member state committee and commission participating in the decision making. What are the main findings of dossier evaluation at the moment? The best place to find uh, the main findings, we, we publish actually an annual report on dossier evaluation. It's the so-called Article 54 report. Our most recent one was published this February. Please watch the complete interview on our YouTube and Tudo channel. Now it's time for a special statement of the day. ChemCon Asia 2017 is already the 8th ChemCon Asia and the 24th ChemCon globally. The only person that has attended all of them is Karen Armstrong of 3M. In honoring Karen for more than 20 years of dedication to ChemCon as the founding mother, she can nominate one topic per conference which she feels deserves a spotlight in the APEC region. The Karen Armstrong APEC priority topic. For ChemCon Asia 2017, Karen has selected the topic meeting numbers. For the statement of the day, we will shortly focus on this with Karen and Shinobu Yoshida from the Japanese National Institute of Technology and Evaluation. 
Ladies, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Karen, can you tell why you choose the meaty numbers as the first Karen Armstrong APEC priority topic? Well, meaty numbers are a way of designating chemicals in the Japan regulations, and they're very difficult to understand and define sometimes. So having this is an opportunity for compliance. Shinobu, could you give some practical advice on finding meaty numbers? Understanding meaty numbers' characteristics is very helpful to find meaty numbers. You can find meaty numbers using our chemical database, NITECHLIP, Chemical Risk Information Platform. Thank you for your advice. For compliance-driven companies here in Beijing at Chemcon Asia, a deep dive into the regulations is key. What is your statement? Understanding the nuts and bolts of regulation is crucial for implementation. Thank you. I'm sure our delegates are already looking forward to a practical guidance on meeting numbers. Ladies, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. Please share your opinion about this via our ChemConnect app. Besides the ChemConnect app, there are many apps nowadays. And one of them is very useful. And our local reporter will explain how it works. I'd like to show you this bicycle app in Beijing. There are many companies that offer bicycle leasing via an app. You select one of their bicycles, just open the app, scan the QR code, open the lock with password received, and off you go. The app will record time period for payment, usually RMB 1 yuan for half an hour. Some bike sharing companies have promotion campaign for free riding in weekends or when there may be traffic jam during some important events. A great way to reduce air pollution from traffic, especially since many people use these bicycles in combination with the subway. Less air pollution, always good. And cycling is a good exercise. Like swimming next to the hotel. They even swim here in winter. Very refreshing, but fresh. Anyway, time for the forecast of the day. We will start today with EU reach, the 2018 deadline, authorization and enforcement. And an update on KKDIC, Turkey's reach. In the afternoon we discuss global chemical compliance with a focus on special use chemicals like cosmetics but also nanomaterials, before we put our spotlights on the Japanese and Taiwanese legal framework. Thank you for watching and have a great day.